Hi, I'm Sarah Morrow with Cell State Peak Realty. We Coloradans live in a semi-desert that happens to have a lot of topography, so it's rife with ditches. And since water is such a hot commodity here, superintendents of ditch companies help us manage use of water. On today's Proper Tea Time, we'll be hearing from Bill Campbell, superintendent of the Boulder and White Rock Ditch and Reservoir Company. He's got over seven years of experience, and he's been instrumental in helping me put water deals together. He has assisted some of my buyers in understanding the implications and the responsibilities of owning and using their water shares, and he keeps a close watch on water's growing value for us realtors. He and I actually met singing in church choir, and he's a wealth of knowledge. I am just delighted that he's agreed to come and share some of that knowledge with us today. Hi, Bill. Well, thank you, Sarah. I appreciate you asking me. Thank you for being here. Are you kidding? I appreciate you having us, having us in your repertoire. So why don't you tell us a little bit about your role uh, in the water world here in Longmont? Well, I am uh, the superintendent for the Boulder and White Rock Ditch. Uh, I prefer to be known as a ditch rider uh, from the olden days when uh, the, the people that were in charge would ride the ditch um, on horseback and make sure that the water was flowing, the proper amount was there, and then also to make adjustments for all of the shareholders to receive the amount of water that they've ordered. Oh, cool. pretty simple. I never knew that about riding, like an actual horseback rider. Now it's a car. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So why do ditch companies exist and why are there so many of them here in Longmont? Well, if you think about it in terms of how would you get water to any location, it's a meandering of the main creek uh, and then it, it only goes downhill. So um, the water has to come off of the creek at one point and then because it's always going downhill if your place is far away it still needs to go downhill in order to get there mm. and so therefore maybe one ditch that goes along the topography of the land will get to your place or maybe if you go from a different ditch it would be a little bit easier or more convenient to get to that location. So topography is the main course of why there are so many number of irrigation uh, companies. Gotcha. So you're kind of working with Mother Nature to fulfill these orders from shareholders most of oh, the time. Very much, all the time. Uh, in fact, uh, there's only a certain amount of water at any given time throughout the year. Um, Boulder Creek, as, a, as an example, right now is running about 10 CFS at the location that I take water, which is there in uh, Boulder between Arapaho and Canyon underneath the Broadway Bridge. And that 10 CFS then has to travel 27 miles to Panama uh, and then it has to go another uh, six miles, or no, another 20 miles, I'm sorry, to, uh, to get to somebody that would be um, taking water at the very end of uh, the Boulder White Rock system. Gotcha, so, who are also shareholders who are also entitled yeah. to that. So you've got to figure out a way to get it there. Right, What's right. What's CFS again, cubic but, feet? Well, right now, 10 CFS, cubic feet per second is running, uh, but during the... Um, high area, Boulder Creek will run 300 CFS. Gotcha. And so you see there's limitations and everything goes on a seniority basis. Uh, I'm junior to some ditches, I'm senior to other ditches. So you say I'm being your property. I'm being, no, the Boulder White Rock representative. Okay. Uh, the property that I live on is also a a shareholder. Um, it's actually owned by the county, um, but the number of shares that are used for that property um, have to the 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 whoever's using that water needs to call ahead and get the water so that I can make sure that they have it the next day. Sure, but you're saying certain ditch companies are junior to others. Correct. That was your point there? Okay. In that case. Um, Boulder White Rock was um, 
appropriated in 1873. So uh, Lower Boulder, which is a ditch uh, down, well, that gets its water off around 95th on the Boulder Creek, um, they, they in fact are number one in priority for irrigation, um, but then they have a, a junior right to my storage right. Uh, so the storage right I have is senior to their storage right, but my irrigation right is junior to their senior irrigation right. Crazy, kind of complicated. Kinda so let's, complicated. Just, let's let's break it down and, and give an example. Let's say I just bought a property. Okay. And it comes with one share. Okay. Of Boulder or Boulder White Rock Ditch. Oh, okay. Rights. Okay, I've got one share. Okay. What does that really mean for me? How do I get that water? And how does the getting that change throughout the year? Oh, interesting. The way it works is um, the board of directors determines um, the amount of water that one share would receive, and that may vary each year depending <clears throat> upon the availability of water. Um, in is it measured in inches, cubic feet? What is it? And yeah, inches and cubic feet um, are the common ways. Okay. Um, one cubic foot is equal to 40 inches of water. Uh, 40 inches of water is, or one cubic foot of, of that, would in fact fill um, two acre feet. So two acres mm -hmm. of land, or one, one acre of land two feet high, mm -hmm. or two acres of land one, one foot, foot high. high, obviously. Is that technically, is that close to one share usually, or does it just totally mm, depend? One share is not going to do you much. Uh, if, you, uh, if you have one maybe you're watering your lawn, um, then one share would probably work. Um, but if you were uh, farming on, let's say, 160 acres, you'd probably want 100 shares sure. of Boulder White Rock. Now, the difference with your ditches is each one is appropriated by um, the number of shareholders they have and the right that they originally got from when they filed in courts. Sure. So my 1873 right uh, allows for a lot of water. Um, a lot of water runs then in the beginning. We also have two uh, storage areas um, that then can also provide water when, in fact, my right to receive water off of Boulder Creek is nullified by the people that either upstream or downstream mm -hmm. are senior in rights to my priority. Okay, so again, the question was... Um, okay, did I get it? No, 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 I just I want to clarify that I got those answers. So um, the, the, the question was, you know, what does that mean when I get one share? We got that. How do I access that? Sounds like I need to place an okay. order. Mm -hmm. And then how does that change throughout the year? You mentioned rivers versus storage. I know that impacts once the river water kind of runs up and everybody's already accessed it, then you dip into the storage? Correct. Okay. Correct. And so um, for in the case of Boulder White Rock, um, one share of water would allow you 50 inches of water, but only 13, maybe 12 inches of storage water. So Later in the season. Later in the We're season. We're talking like late yeah. summer now. So... Um, we usually run out of water in Ju well, July 4th um, mm -hmm. is a good time. Uh, July 4th, uh, when you look up at the uh, Mount Meeker and you see the, the vein of uh, snow that is now melted down. <laughs> it's not quite as wide up there. We're out of water. And that, mm. that probably goes across the range. A lot of people have used that as a way of knowing so if their the water is going to be running out. Okay. Uh, so now there are a lot of ditches who they don't have storage. And so when water's out and their seniority is out, mm. they're out of water. Which means they're calling you to place orders for water and you're saying no. I wouldn't, but they would. Uh, I mean, some someone, of the ditch was someone on the ditch would probably say no. Got yes. it. Yeah.
Cool. And also, you have to realize if my storage is um, downstream from where your property is, I can't move that water upstream. <laughs> you haven't figured out how to move water uphill? <laughs> no. Bill, get with it. So there again, topography uh -huh. plays the, the main role. Uh, the topography as far as up in the mountains, uh, we have so much snowfall. When we see high snowfalls, there's a good chance that we'll have water either for a longer period of time or more water. However, if the sun comes out and, and it doesn't rain or it doesn't freeze at night or things like that, mm. we can have a whole lot of water up in our storage area, which is called the mountains, and mm -hmm. not have any water because it's all drained down and we're, we can't bring it back. Got it, got it. So. so there are many sources of water, it sounds like, mostly being the mountains. But um, I've noticed there's tons of ditch companies here in Longmont. Where are we really getting, is it Boulder Creek? Is it St. Vrain? Yes. Where are we, where, any break of it the, down any for of me. The natural I, I know there are creeks. districts. Natural, um, natural rivers, or we call them creeks in most cases. So we have the St. Vrain, we have the left hand um, here in Longmont. Uh, further south, we have Boulder Creek. Uh, further north, they have uh, the Big Thompson, uh, which uh -huh. is a, a very, very large source. source. And then, of course, you go out east and they've got Platte, okay. um, St. Vrain, you know, all of those. Uh, they, they're, all, they're all the natural flow. And then from that, a ditch company would build a head gate I see. That then would allow water to go down their ditch, which they have made. I see. And then they would, in fact, take at your location, they would, a ditch rider would open the head gate and allow you to get a certain amount of water. Got it. It's not just, well, I want water today and Got away it. we go, you know. So you, your job really is in fulfilling these orders, you're opening head gates, you're literally going to people's properties and allowing them Correct. the ditch access. Mm -hmm. And you're, I imagine, I mean, I'm, on, I'm a director on, you know, the oligarchy and the panic laterals. So it's, it's cleaning and it's making sure that there's clear, you know, trash isn't in the ditch. And what else do you do day to day? Well, and the head gates leak, you know, they're, they get old. Um, the Culverts that are associated with those get old. Um, they they need to be maintained. Mm -hmm. um, mostly, it's trees that seem to be our m m biggest nemesis, so to speak. Gotcha. So, so you're um, you're you're a farm. You work with the farmers. But then also and you clear the yeah. trees. <laughs> but then there's also erosion because if you're sending water, and it's making a curve, and the curve has a weakened soil area, then then that's going to erode. And uh, there's strict laws that the um, size of the ditch cannot change. And once you start eroding, mm -hmm. then you're changing the size of the ditch. And, and so you have to then fill that or build a wall or put riprap in or whatever it is. So, so you're a problem solver and you have to work with mother nature every day. A lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> So. Well, one last, if you can just, this has been so informative and I so appreciate it. Um, what is, what are just a couple other small tips that you would tell a buyer hmm. or even a seller for that matter, who's purchasing a property on a farm or who's inheriting a, a property that's got ditch rights or these, these water shares attached to them. Uh, by the way, I just want to throw in, can you confirm that it's true that just because I'm buying a property with shares, I can always buy shares separate from a property and property separate from shares, right? Those aren't always attached? Only when they're available, okay? Uh, well, and also you can buy extra water in some ditches from northern. Uh, most people are aware of northern, northern water. Northern water. Uh, they perfect. sell what is called uh, Colorado Big Thompson or CBT water. Sure. Uh, the Boulder White Rock has uh, an inlet from the uh, big T big T but so if you bought big T water and you are downstream from that location then you can certainly use that but if you're upstream from where it would dump in again uh, there again you're, you're out of water so um, SOW <laughs>
<laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but something you mentioned something, however. Yeah, sorry, what was I asked that? you oh, things. I, I wanted and to make I sure. I kind of got off. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wanted to make sure that water share purchases oh, weren't always right. attached to property share right. purchases. Oh, well, and we're seeing more and more where um, the property uh, is sold and the water is then taken and and sold for a different price. Uh, mm -hmm. A good example is uh, we talked about CBT. Uh, my father-in-law, uh, when CBT first came out, was almost given water uh, from the uh, from Northern. They they wanted him to just have the shares and then just pay for the for the water. So it was virtually a small small amount. Mm -hmm. Well, now one share of water is equal to it allows you one acre foot of water appropriated by northern to a certain percentage mm -hmm. uh, such as like 70 percent was the last appropriation so 70 percent of one acre foot of water and uh, like i said my father-in-law at one time uh, could get it for practically nothing mm -hmm. and the last time i checked it was selling for about sixty thousand dollars the one share for one share <laughs> That's um, even higher than the last time I checked as well. So, so appreciation yeah. and inflation is so, a real thing. So and then also you get um, like a lot of the cities in the area, they'll look at a property and they'll say, oh, yeah, we'll buy that and we'll get all of the rights. And then what happens is they'll take that water share away mm. and you're left with dry land. There's a lot sure. of it up in um, the Greeley area, uh, a little east of Greeley that Cheap land because the, you can't grow in, you can't grow anything on it. Right. So it doesn't have to. However, you cannot um, you cannot buy a share of water in uh, our ditch and most ditches and use that ditch's water sure, if it's not historically been been used for that. Sure. So. You can't take it upstream, um, <laughs> you know, or uphill. Right. You can't pump it uphill. Right. Uh, because it has to flow in what historically has been. However, uh, because it's in a region of the northern water, they in fact could sell you CBT to kind you, of offset yeah. that detachment. Uh huh. Uh -huh. So we would then have just a carrying fee. Got it. For that. So Makes sense. Thank God it's for complicated. Water. It, it is, is complicated. But they're a great source, like literally and figuratively speaking, of yeah. information and water. Yeah. Well, and with properties, it's uh, not only do I have water or do I not have water. Uh, if you live along a ditch, uh, I may have to go through your property in order to maintain the water. It's called a prescriptive easement. Um, mm -hmm. And nobody, you know, so you can't put up a fence. The, and lock it and say, oh, Bill, you can't, I, I have to. You've so got a right. I have a prescriptive easement, got which it. is a right to maintain the ditch. Great. So so if I am, so to answer that first question before our tangent, yeah. if I'm a buyer <laughs> yeah. and I'm looking at a property with water shares, I not only need to be mindful of prescriptive easements as well as the amount of the water, not only that that share is worth now, mm -hmm. which is growing, but also what that entitles me to, and, and that it when it detached. when the water's available. Yep. You know, you don't want to be growing uh, organics on a farm that doesn't get water after August. Sure. You know. Right. So that yeah. So when it's out, it's out. Yeah. And irrigation season really is what like April. March to... end of March, first of April to uh, oh, end of September, first of if you're lucky. October, if they have uh, if they have um, storage. If it snowed um, a lot, basically. <laughs> or they have senior rights. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, because there are some ditches that went off in the first part of September because they were... They were dry. Junior rights, not enough water. Gotcha. And then the last thing um, I know I know to do, or at least tell my clients, is are you accessible? Can my buyers just call the rider? Should they be having conversations sure. with you? Should they get to know their ditch company? Probably better. If you're going to buy a property, you better better know the uh, ditch rider. Um, our, and that is all public information. Um, 
we have to deal with the government entity called a water commissioner and they are in different districts i'm in district six you're in district five mm -hmm. you have a different water commissioner than i do okay. um, but the water commissioner um, would know who the ditch riders are uh, and give you access to them gotcha um, so he's giving you access and you're giving us access basically yeah. Right. You got the you got the boss man too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bill, you've been a joy to speak with. Thank you so much for your time. Well, thank you. You're welcome. That's the proper Good tea. Good luck. Thanks. The proper tea. Oh. The proper tea. <laughs>